Hey there guys, Skippy here from Skippy6 Gaming coming to you from my survival world messing around with stuff and saying hey what's up i'm not sure what we're doing today let's see i need to grab it you know i want to steal skippy's diamonds hold on let me get some wood what what do you think that is it's a oh oh look at that so hopefully i just spawned in front of my base i think what we're gonna do here is i'm gonna go get my hotbar filled with all the stuff we need and i'll meet you at the next tree <laughs> For this build, you're going to need four redstone torches, four pieces of TNT at least, if not more, one lever, one piece of redstone dust, eight blocks of dirt or grass if you have a silk touch, as well as one Minecraft tree. Okay, so here I am hanging around in a world with trees in it, and I want to blow some dudes up. So let's go over here, and I think this tree looks perfect. This is a pretty easy build. As you notice, I have all the things I need in my hotbar. Let's grab some grass because i knew this one wasn't going to be as forgiving you know what we're going to do let's just let's just put this grass here just because i want everybody to see it in the light and this tree is much more well lit so all you got to do is step one find the tree you want to put the trap on go ahead and dig yourself a uh, space three deep and one around each side Easy enough, go in here, delete two blocks, leaving one on the bottom, go ahead, throw your redstone dust on it, go ahead and throw a torch on all four sides. Again, you can put as much TNT as you want on this one, it is entirely up to you, but what we're going to do right here is go ahead and put this lever here, hit the lever, and the redstone turns off, turning these torches off. Uh, that said, when this breaks off, as you're going to be able to see, uh, Basically, the, the redstone would be on usually, uh, so what happens is when someone breaks this wood block right here, this is going to turn on, and guess what it's going to do? It's going to go ahead and light up <laughs> as much TNT as you want. I'm only putting four. Um, you can put as many. You can make this go six back. You, you can make it go this whole entire rim of this if you really wanted to. Uh, it would work perfect. You could just <laughs> blow the whole world up if you really wanted to. But as you can see, that looks good. Again, go ahead and throw some uh, sand or, or some grass or dirt. You'd probably be able to only use uh, dirt in uh, real survival. So once you do that, mission accomplished. Looks totally plain. Looks like every other tree, but people are going to be coming up. It takes a little bit of a delay, but, you know, they'll be like, oh, what's this? Let's get all these trees, you know, and boom, boom. And kaboom, and there you go. That's a pretty good one. Guys, just four pieces of TNT for a hole like that. That'll definitely take you out in survival. So on that note, guys, this is a quick little tree bomb tutorial. I hope you like it. Look at that cool shot right there. I don't know, man. I'm an... I never seen this. This area looks pretty cool, like a blue lagoon with this cool tree up here. I like it. I like it. Is that an above ground spawner? That's an above ground spawner. Come on. Tell me that's not an above ground spawner. It's totally an above ground spawner. You think? It is. Oh my goodness. It's gotta be. We gotta check it out. So <laughs> don't forget guys. It is, it is, it is, it is. Yeah. I'm gonna check the chest. It's like a bonus. This is uh, my creative copy of my survival world, which means that I never found this in my survival world yet. So that's good. However, I have a funny feeling there's not gonna be any chests here. Where's all the chests? Oh, well. Oh, I broke it. What was there? Gunpowder. Here, let me pick it up and check. Nothing. Horrible. So, don't forget to smash that like. Don't forget as well to subscribe to my channel and share this video on social media with your friends. I think I'm going to go make another trap tutorial right now. Like it, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.